The UW community is finally getting a chance to meet personally with the new head football coach, Luke Fickle, in person at Camp Randall right now. And we're waiting to hear him address the entire media, but first we are joined by former Wisconsin and NFL tight end, Travis Beckham. Hey, Hi, Travis. Travis. Good to see you. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. Thanks for having me. Big so, news. <laughs> yes, yes, to, to say the least. Um, I don't think anyone was, uh, was, was shocked. Um, to say the least, I mean, I, I think this came out of the blue. I think this was, um, I think a lot of people expected the, the whole Jim Leonard thing to kind of transpire into um, 48 hours later, he'd be the head coach. And the, the players were all behind yeah, him, they wanted him. Yeah, obviously he's connected well with the guys. Mm -hmm. um, he's built great chemistry. Um, obviously these guys vibe well with him. Uh, so to say that uh, this Luke Fickle thing came out of uh, the blue is, is, is very true. Despite, Charles, besides Leonard, I mean, this is probably a good move for the team. Yes. I mean, um, this, he's a good coach. Yes, I, I absolutely agree. Um, and all the credit to, uh, to Jim. Uh, he came in and, and filled some, some really big shoes. Obviously, I played uh, during the, the Coach Chris uh, era. Uh, he was my offensive coordinator, and essentially, uh, I praise him to the day I die and, and essentially revolved that offense around me. Um, but uh, I feel like this team has been treading water for a very long time. Um, I think that this is the answer to, uh, to what a lot of Wisconsin fans have been looking for and been waiting for. Um, and I think this is the right guy for the job. Do you think um, he will, you know, bring about a revolution or an evolution to the Badgers offense or anything like that? I, so I think that um, I think a lot of times Wisconsin is always uh, known for the run game. Um, if I'm a receiver, um, I'm not going to come to Wisconsin because we don't produce good quarterbacks. If I'm a quarterback, I'm not going to come to Wisconsin because we don't produce good uh, wide receivers. I think this guy is the guy that's going to come in. Uh, we'll still have a, a profound run game, but he's one of those guys that uh, this is this is the offense for skilled players. This is the guy. This is the offense where you come in and shine. This is where you get your four-star, five-star athletes uh, to come in and take this team from here and put mm -hmm. it to there. And he has the credentials for this. Absolutely. I mean, he's done great things. Uh, I mean, just look at his track history um, at Ohio State. Um, he's a defensive coordinator, a linebacker coach there. Uh, coached some greats against when I was playing James Laurinaitis. Um, and I, I'm, I'm very excited to, to what he's going to bring to the table. How do you win the team over? That's tough. Um, it, 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 it's, it's trust. I mean, I think that's the first thing. I think these guys are young. Um, and... I think they built a really big bond, first off, with, with Coach Chris. And, mm -hmm. and obviously, um, mid-season, uh, you switch that up. And then, obviously, you throw Jim Leonard in there. Obviously, he's had a connection with the players prior to um, this, this news. But um, that's tough. I mean, I guess you got to uh, go above and beyond to, to make yourself uh, accessible to these guys and let them know that uh, you are there for one reason, um, obviously for the players, and, and to win football games. Essentially, it comes down to we need to find somebody that can play that role, that can be put in that role, and win football games for this program. It's expected from this program. Right, and so that's important to earn that trust so then that um, transfers onto the football Absol team. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. It's not only a coach, they're a mentor, and they're young guys. Yeah. These guys in their 20s, early 20s? Yeah, uh, it, it's crazy because you have guys that are in their 20s and, and, and they're 21 next year and some of them go to the NFL and uh, obviously you're, you're on national television and, and they expect so much from you all of a sudden. It's not, it, it's, it's not to the point where all of a sudden you're in college and you go to the NFL and you become a man. It, it doesn't work like that. These guys are a lot, these guys are our boys yeah. you know what I mean and, and it's gonna be harder for them uh, to adapt to a head a new head coach as opposed to to these these men um, that have been in the NFL for 10 years and have been around several different head coaching changes so it's it's gonna be a, a work of art um, but uh, I, I think that these guys will soon realize that this is the man for the job a lot of folks watching it watched you over the years. Yeah. What, what are you doing right now? So I'm a business account executive for the AT&T national business team. Um, basically a rep. I, I like to say that um, that long name just so I can see, make myself seem a little <laughs> bit more important. You live in Madison? Yes. Yeah, well, Fitchburg. So, okay. yeah, so I, I moved out here um, about, uh, about five and a half years ago. Uh, was in Milwaukee for a while. Uh, been here. Wanted to get back close to the guys. Um, and uh, obviously be a part of the program. Um, joined the, the W Club this past year and um, looking forward to, um, to helping this team. Um, I want to be a resource to these guys. Um, and I think starting with 
uh, starting as far as resources, I think uh, Luke Fickle is a great resource to these guys on and off the field. Again, he recruited me uh, coming out of high school uh, when I was a linebacker, um, and it essentially came down to Ohio State and Wisconsin being my two picks. Um, obviously, I chose Wisconsin, but Luke Fickle ha has a way to connect with these players um, on a personal level, and I think that's um, that's key for, for to, to build trust. Um, and then, obviously, that trust goes out, and you play well, and you you have it, a very successful football program, and that's what we're going to be. be we're going to have be this an year. Exciting season coming yeah, up. Looking forward to it, Travis. Thanks for absolutely. being with us. Yeah, thank you, thank you guys. Yeah, right. absolutely.